Hi guys, this is Mati Ace, and in today's video I'd like to share with you my thoughts about how to play Boris, which is uh, the specialist that I've been playing the most during my time playing Battlefield 2042, and I started with that all the way back in beta, uh, despite the fact that almost everybody oh, favored McKay, and probably, or to some degree, maybe still do. Now, if you choose Boris, the only real reason why you would pick this over somebody else is that you think that this SG-36 turret or sentry gun is worth it. Now, based on the situation, I think it is. The problem is, of course, that uh, every time you spawn in is going to be a different situation, so you'll never really know whether or not you're picking the right specialist or if you should have chosen someone else. Now, the turret by itself is more or less useless. But in any situation where your enemies are forced to engage something else than your turret, the turret can actually pick up quite a few kills. Now the deciding factor here is whether or not people can see your turret and if they have the choice to engage it, because if so, then they will quite quickly kill it without taking too much damage. However, if they are forced to engage some of your teammates or yourself, or if they just get surprised by the turret and they get shot from an unexpected ah, angle yeah. while already being uh, down on hit points, then the turret can be very, very effective. Now, flag. all that They're being said, in. the most important part of the turret, the most important function <coughs> of the turret, is not its damage dealing capacity at all. It's the spotting functionality which highlights your enemies in red, even through walls or other parts of the environment where you normally wouldn't be able to see them. Now, it's not all that effective when there is multiple enemies, because the turret can only spot one enemy at a time. And what I've come to realize is that it is far more important to try to hide or try to place your turret in a way that isn't too obvious rather than like what I used to do in the beginning. I used to put the turret up on any high ground that I can come across like above a rock or on top of a wall or something because I uh, thought that that would of course be a better way to spot a bigger area of the map. And in some situations, that is still a very good way of placing the turret. But for the most part, I realized that when you do that, your turret will just be taken out very, very fast, and it won't really serve any purpose. Now, so far, the most success that I've had with the turret has been in environments where there is quite a lot of bushes, or maybe some trees and stuff like that, and some tall grass, where the turret can be somewhat hidden, but it will be able to spot enemies, deal damage and even kill enemies through the very bushes that are hiding its position. Now also keep in mind that it can be very easy to put too much uh, reliability on the turret itself. I have been killed many times trying to place the turret where in that situation uh, would I have shot the enemy, I would have had a much greater success of winning that engagement. What's also irritating with the Boris turret is that there are many situations where you think you can place the turret, but uh, it just won't allow you to set it up. And it's also bugged when you uh, access the drop from Angel. So far, it's happened every single time I resupply from the Angel drop. After that, the turret is bugged and I can no longer place it, even though I know that the turret is off cooldown. Now, one of the best ways of using the turret, uh, in my experience anyway, is uh, when you're being attacked by an enemy or you're, you're taking cover behind a rock or a little wall or whatever, and you can stay yourself uh, hidden behind cover, but you can reach outside with the placement turret, like you see me doing here. I'm taking cover behind these buildings here, placing the turret outside, and it spots and even deals some damage to the enemies while I'm staying here and healing up. Also, you will quickly start recognizing the sound of the turret when it locks on to somebody, and when that happens, you want to be quick to take advantage. Now, keep in mind, a lot of the footage in this video is uh, from a, maybe one or two patches ago, and uh, the game was even more laggy back then than it is now. Um, I'm still very unfamiliar with the weapons and the movement and all that of the game, 
and uh, what is more important to mention actually is that I have uh, a severe amount of lags playing this game not only because everybody is lagging because of the poor performance but because I'm streaming and I have a relatively old graphics card this game is from time to time basically unplayable and yet I'm still playing this game hoping that with a few more updates it's going to be good well at least we can hope right so now I promised you guys that I would buy this game, I would play this game, I would give you my honest feedback about whether it's good or bad, so that you can make up your mind whether or not you think it's worth spending the money to buy it. Now for doing so, I've received a lot of hateful comments from people that say that I'm just whining and bitching while still playing the game. Why don't I just quit playing the game if I don't like it? Well. If I did that, then I wouldn't hold my promise, would I? And uh, I think a lot of people also remember that when Battlefield 3 was released, or even more so when Battlefield 4 was released, the game was in a terrible stage for several months. I, I for me, Battlefield so 3 was far worse than Battlefield, Battlefield 4, so more but more I know that for most of you guys, it was the other way around. Now, I would say this. If you haven't bought this game already and there is nothing about what you've seen from my videos, streams or other YouTubers and their streams, this, uh, then you probably there. should wait on buying this game oh, because it cool. really isn't all that good right yeah. now. But if the game becomes better with a few updates and if I for whatever reason would change my mind, then I guarantee you, I promise you, I will let you know and again I'm gonna help you uh, Decide for yourself whether or not you think this is a game worth buying. So, big thanks for watching, my friends, and yes, I hope you will enjoy some Boris gameplay. I'm coming, Muddy! Nice. Yo, yo. There you are. Where do we go? Uh, let's go for that. Uh, oh, they're, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got fucking the <laughs> We need more people to shoot that guy. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, my turret is... Oh, they're up on the... He's up on that... Uh... Oh, is that your turret there? Okay. Yeah, oh. One, one guy? One guy? Yeah, one of them. On the roof? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, one guy here. Dead. Yes, I gotta get in here. They're, I'm going back into this. I think they're above. Oh, my turret killed another one? Holy shit! Is that why we can get on the roof? Yeah, there's a stair somewhere. Oh, one guy, one guy, one guy. That? My turret is. Uh, I, I set my turret so that it, if they are up there, it uh, spots them and shoots them in some situations. Oh, there's portable, a tank. Li literally portable kill streak. Yeah. Pocket kill streak. Tank, tank coming, tank coming. Oh shit. Yeah. One hit on that tank. Oh, that's a heli. I'm going inside here. Oh, I missed. I feel slightly concerned about the tank. My turret is so fucking good! Holy shit! I think shit. we won. Yeah. Yeah, good one. If you want... Okay, okay. Uh, Shot job you, maybe Charlie on the roof. It's more, there's some people... Oh yeah, oh, look yeah, at this! Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. oh fuck, there's another A. Let me hide here real quick.
Fuck, I can't. Oh, I got blocked. Holy shit, being blocked in this game is just. Even that is fucked up. Ha <laughs> sentry! Don't shoot the air! What's he shooting at? I wonder why people use the No, oh, don't shoot me. I'm a friend. I'll be your friend.
Jesus Christ, this window is too clean. Yo, yo, he's alive! Sentry slipping for bread! Four rockets to kill a fucking bolt, man. It's stupid. Like, this is really stupid. On me if you can spawn. Where's the tank? Oh, nice, nice, nice. I, I hit a tank. Why? Oh, tank is dead. Dead, dead. Misa, I didn't expect no. five people in the elevator. Yeah. And there was yeah. 25 it turned close. <laughs> yeah, and, and there, uh, when there was that uh, chess channel guy, he said in this position white, white will always be better. And they, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They sent him a warning on YouTube. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Yes, channel. Yeah. It's a storm coming. Oh, oh fuck, there's an AA next to me and I have an AA rocket. Yeah, look at this! Look at this field of view when I change. Oh my god. Hostile activity at one of our objectives. There's 
so much luck. I don't know if we should we should switch the server or something. No, but this this map is uh, very laggy, right? We have no luck. I'm very offended by you saying that. Bog Thomas dead. Heli above us. It's like five. <laughs> five medics close to me. But uh... Ah! How did he know I'm here, man? I told him. I said Max, Max is over there. He was on the mini map. Fucking dogs. <laughs> <laughs>